In this video, I want to talk about how you can change uh, a complex, num complex number in rectangular form to polar form. So the first question is 5 plus 3i. Now we want to change this into uh, polar form. So you've got 5 plus 3i. Now a complex number has two parts. This is called the real part. This is 5 is the real part and 3i is the imaginary part. And this is called the rectangular form. Now, if to change this into rectangular form, what we do is, by convention, uh, you write two things. You write the argument, so the modulus, which is called the radial distance. Okay, so let me first plot the point. So this is your real arm, and this is your imaginary arm. So this is, say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 4 on the real arm, and so this is one, two, three. I'll not always draw to scale. So this point is called, so let me draw as perfect as possible. So this is a point which coincides the real and the imaginary part. So this point is defined as a complex number phi plus three r, where phi, <coughs> is the real part and 3i is the imaginary part. So this is the real part and, and this is the imaginary axis. So and this point is called phi plus 3i. To write the same number in polar form, what you do is you find this distance, which is called, so they will generally call, say this is r, modulus of r. And this is called the angle it makes with the positive arm. So you write in terms of r and theta. And the form that you write is r cis theta. r cis theta stands for r cos theta plus i sin theta. Plus i sin theta. This is the abbreviation for uh, r cos theta plus i sin theta. Okay, so we want to find what is r and what is theta. Okay, so... So what's the information that we have? So we can say, well, this distance from year to year, this distance is phi. This is a simple right angle triangle. So this is phi. And this is, this distance is three. So this is a simple right angle triangle. So, and we can find R, oh, sorry, this is three. This is three. So we can find R. So R is square root of square root of 25 plus 9. 25 plus 9, which is square root of 34. So the radial, radial distance is 34. So what we're saying is this point is at a distance of 34 from the origin. Okay, now for theta, we can use Sokatoa, and we've got opposite and adjacent. So theta is tan inverse of 3 divided by 5. Okay, so let's use a calculator. I think my calculator is in degrees. Yeah, so you can go shift 10, 3 divided by 5, which is 30.96. So let me write in 2dp 30.96. So theta is 30.96 degrees. So the same number, if you want to write this in polar form, we write square root of 34, this 30.96. So what we are saying is this complex number is at a distance of root 34 from the origin and at an angle of 30.96 from the positive arm of the x-axis or from the real arm. So let's check this on a calculator. So yeah, if you want to check the same answer, square root of 34, square root of 36 is 6. So square root of 34 would be 5.9 something. So there on a graphic calculator, you can check this. So you can go to option, F6, F5, again F6. And you want to write this in polar form, so you press F1. And then you have to write the... Uh, real and the imaginary. The real part is phi, so you type in phi, 
comma 3. Okay, so x, x comma y rectangular form, and you press enter. Can you see this is 5.8, square root of 34 would be 5.8. And the first number tells you the modulus, and the second number tells you the angle, 30.96. So our answer is right, just to make you. So if you go shift square exit, shift square root of 34 is 5.83. So your answer is right. Okay, so for the next question, it is, I would like you to, uh, let's do this without a calculator. So, it's, so let me delay, okay, uh, let me continue, yeah? So question two is minus three plus four i. So you should know how to graph it so that you have a graphical understanding of what's happening. So minus three, your first number is the real arm. So this is your real arm and this is your imaginary arm. So this is a minus three, one, two, three. So this point is minus three. This is minus three. And we want four i. So this is plus one, plus one i, two i, three i, four i. So this point is this i, this is 4i. So this point, so let me again give you a graphical understanding. So this is, this point is what we call minus 3 plus 4i. Okay, and we want to find this, this is a complex number. So we want to find this, this is your r. This is R, which is modulus of R, and you want to find this angle. We want to find this angle. Now we can find this angle if you know this angle. So let's find this angle theta. Okay, and this, suppose let me call this theta, and say so this is alpha. So now we can use again so Katoa. So this is the distance from year to year is three, and this is four. So I hope you can understand 3, 4, 5 is a right angle triangle. Or R is square root of 9 plus 16, which is square root of 25. So radial distance is always positive. So we can write phi. So the modulus of R is phi. Okay. So here, your R is phi, and we need to find alpha. So alpha is... This is the opposite, this is the opposite, and this is your adjacent. So we can say 10 alpha, 10 alpha is, no, alpha is 10 inverse of, alpha is 10 inverse of 4 divided by 3, which is how much? So shift 10 of 4 divided by 3, would give me 53.1 degree. So this is 53.1 degree. But we are interested in theta, so theta would be 180 minus alpha. So I'll go 180 minus answer, 180 minus shift answer. Oops, uh, I should have gone shift answer. I delete this and enter which is 126.9, one put, I'll write in one dp, 126.9 degrees, 126.9 degrees. So theta is 126.9, so we can say minus three plus four i, writing this in polar form, is phi cis 126.9. Okay, so this is your answer. You can check this same way. Go to polar form. So let me do it again. Exit. Let me delete the whole thing. So option F6, F5, F6, and polar form. So we have, what was a, this is minus 3 
plus 4i. So type in minus 3, comma 4, which will give me 5, comma 126.9. Exactly. Okay, so I would do uh, the last one. Third, you can do yourself. So let's do the last one. Minus 1, minus 6i. So minus 1, minus 6i. It's always good to draw the real and imaginary. So this is minus 1. So this is not drawn to scale. And this is, say, minus 6i. So we're looking at this the, this point. Oops, we want to draw a dotted line. So this is the point we're looking for. Okay, so this point is this is minus one. So this point you can describe as minus one minus six i. We are looking for this distance, that's a radial distance, and your angle would be this angle, would be always from the positive arm, the nearest. So this is what we are looking for, minus 1 minus 6i. Okay, so this angle would be 180, 180, this angle, so if you can find this angle, so let me let me delete this first so that you can see what we so let's try a right angle triangle so this is a right angle triangle and we want to find say so this is one this is one and this is six okay and this is your r so we want to find this angle okay so if you can find this angle we can find this angle so let's say this angle Let's go like this in a different way. So this is alpha, okay, so, and so this is beta, I'll call this. So let's find, okay, don't, we don't need to go that much. So let's take this beta. So yeah, r is square root of one squared, which is one plus 36, which is square root of 37 which would be six point something. So let's check that. So exit, shift, square root of 37, this 6.08. This is 6.08 is the radial distance. The beta would be 10 inverse, 10 inverse of opposite divided by adjacent, which is six. This is the opposite, and this is adjacent. 6 divided by 1, which will be a small angle. Okay, so this is 10 of 10 inverse of 6. 10 inverse of 6. Okay, which is shift 10 bracket 6, which is 80.5 degrees. This is 80.5 degrees. So you're looking for alpha. This is our theta. So let me show you theta. We're looking for this angle. This angle, this red, this whole angle is called theta. Theta is always from the positive arm of the x-axis. So this will be, this is 180 plus 80.5, which is 1, this is 260.5. This is 260.5. So this writing this in polar form would become uh, root 36 37 which is 6.08 to 60.5 260.5 or you can also the same thing can also be written 260.5 if you go this way this is and clockwise, this is same as saying this is 6.08. Calculator may not give you this answer. Is minus 360 minus 260.5. So 360 minus 260.5. That will give you minus 99.5. So this. So basically, 
going anti-clockwise is positive. If you go from year to year, what we are saying is this angle is 260.5. This angle is 260.5. It's same as going from year to year, which is 99.5, minus 99.5, okay? And if you add this to, that is 360. So let's check which we are getting polar. You go minus 1, comma, minus 6. Can you see? They have got minus 99.5 and 6.08. It gives you the smallest angle. Okay, so this is minus 99.46.